Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu 14.04 LTS on VirtualBox. Okay, so uh, if you don't have Ubuntu 14.04 and VirtualBox, then I'm going to show you how you can get it. So in order to get, you know, Ubuntu 14.04, uh, you have to go to this, you know, URL that is uh, ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash desktop okay so i'm gonna put this uh, link uh, in the video description so that you can check it out okay so uh, after that you need to uh, you know scroll down over here and you can see this download ubuntu desktop uh, the long-term support version of ubuntu operating system for desktop pcs and laptops and guys it comes with five years of security and maintenance updates and guarantee Okay, so here uh, you can choose your flavor like 64 bit or 32 bit if you have less than 2 gigabytes of ram then you can choose this 32 bit okay so after you are done you know choosing your flavor you just need to click on this download you know button over here and it will be downloaded okay so i already downloaded it so i don't need to download it again okay so and after that you need to get this you know virtual box so here you can see uh, virtual box for windows hosts virtual box for os x host for linux as well as solaris host okay so depending on your you know uh, operating system you can download it okay so i'm on you know windows so i already downloaded this okay guys so here i have ubuntu iso file as well as my virtual box okay so uh, let me double click in order to run this setup file in order to install VirtualBox. So just click on next, 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 yes, install. As you can see, guys, it's installing. So this will take some time. Okay, guys, it's done. Just click on finish button over here. As you can see, guys, welcome to VirtualBox. Okay, so you just need to click on new and type here ubuntu whatever the name that you want to give to your virtual machine and in type you have to you know uh, you know select this linux and in version you have to select this ubuntu 64 bit or 32 bit if you have downloaded 32 bit then just select this because i already downloaded you know 64 bit so i just need to select this and then click on next assign you know ram to your virtual machine i recommend uh, at least 2 gb 2 gigabytes of ram and click on next create a virtual hard disk now yes click on create vdi virtual disk image click on next and guys here you can choose uh, dynamically allocated as well as fixed size depending on your choice you can do that but I recommend using you know fixed size. Click on next. And guys, here you can choose the you know, location of your you know virtual machine. So just uh, you know select the place that where you want to save your virtual machine. So I just want to save here. Click on save and uh, assign you know hard disk. This uh, select the size of the virtual hard disk in megabytes. So you just need to you know slide it if you want to give it more so i just need uh, only eight gigabytes over here and you just need to click on create button over here as you can see guys it's creating a virtual hard disk okay guys as you can see that a few seconds remaining so we have to wait a little bit okay guys so it's not created okay so you just need to select your virtual machine and right click on it and then click on settings and then go to system and make this optical as the you know first boot order so you just need to uncheck this click over here little downward arrow link and make it you know this optical as the first and hard disk as the second in boot order okay and after that you need to click on this storage click on this empty and you have to browse to the place where you have your uh, ubuntu iso image okay so you just need to click over here and i already chosen in past so i, I already have it over here so i just need to select it 
okay and after that you need to click on this network and then click on this drop down over here and click on this bridged adapter and you have to select your adapter and uh, click on this advanced and uh, in this from I don't know how to pronounce it but promise QS mode you have to uh, click over here and then click allow VMs okay and cable connected and you have to click on ok ok guys so after that you just need to click on this start button over here as you can see we have here our Ubuntu is starting so you can see a nice Uh, let me close this as you can see you can see the nice ubuntu 14.04 this you know booting up okay so it it just you know started installation so we just need to wait okay so here we have So you can see the nice you know the background over here okay guys, so here we have two options try ubuntu or install ubuntu okay so you can try ubuntu without making any changes to your computer uh, directly from this cd okay so but we don't want to do this uh, right now in this tutorial so we will just choose this install Ubuntu okay click on this and guys uh, here you need to follow you know some requirements for best results please ensure that this computer has at least 6.7 gigabytes available and drive space so already we have it uh, it's plugged to a power source yes we have it it's connected to the internet I already have an internet connection as well okay okay guys so uh, here you have two options as well download updates while installing installing this third-party software so uh, I'm not gonna use this you can choose if you like and then click on continue okay guys so here we have this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do okay so just select this it is disk and install Ubuntu this will delete all your programs uh, documents photos music and any other files in all operating system okay so don't worry it will not delete your uh, main operating system so no problem just click on this install now and as you can see if you continue the changes listed below will be uh, written to the disk okay so no problem here are the lists and then click on continue and uh, choose your location okay so I am in New Delhi and then click on continue Uh, let it be default English United States, but if you want to choose something else, so you can choose that and then click on continue. Okay, guys, so here you need to give uh, your name. So let me give it mine. Okay, so you can choose your username. If you want to change it, you can do that as well. So let me type something. One, one, two, three. And choose your password over here and confirm your password okay as you can see required uh, require my password to log in yes log in automatically you can choose if you like but I'm gonna use this in this tutorial and then click on continue as you can see guys we have here welcome installation screen over here 
welcome to Ubuntu 14.04 so okay so you have to be patient over here okay so uh, it would take some time like uh, a maximum up to 20 minutes because I did in the past and it took around uh, 20 minutes so you have to be patient As you can see it's you know processing I got the files over here almost you know finished copying files as you can see over here find even more software you can read you know you can browse you know click on this arrow link and you can uh, read about the features of this great uh, Ubuntu operating system as you can see over here installing system As you can see guys over here uh, installation is complete uh, you need to restart the computer in order to use the uh, new installation okay so you we have to restart this you know a virtual machine over here so you just need to uh, click on this restart as you can see it's uh, unmounting temporary file systems okay so you just need to go to input mouse integration click over here and hit enter on your keyboard as you can see guys it's now restarting okay guys so you have to enter your password let me type that okay. and you have to you know press right control on your keyboard in order to get out of this you know uh, virtual machine in order to return your return to your uh, original computer okay so if I press right control on my keyboard as you can see I am out of this virtual machine and if I wanna do that again then I have to click over here as you can see I am okay okay guys so let me maximize it as you can see that we have you know very less resolution over here so suppose if i want to make it as you know the full screen okay so as you can see the it's uh, in full screen mode you can see only this very small you know window over here so how we can increase it okay increase the resolution so our only way of doing is you have to go to this uh, devices and there might be other methods but I'm gonna use this one so you have to go to devices and insert guest editions CD base you have to click on it okay uh, and then you have to click over here as you can see we are not able to see properly over here so you just need to click on this do that okay and you have to provide your password and uh, authenticate as you can see it's copying so this will take some time
as you can see building the main guest additions module okay guys so you have to press return to close this window okay hit enter on your keyboard and guys after that you need to uh, shut down this this virtual machine click on this you know, settings icon shut down icon over here and then click on shut down click on shut down it's now shutting down okay guys so it's done and after that you need to click on this start button over here again so it's now uh, booting up just provide your password hit enter okay guys so you can see and if I maximize it you can see you know, the full screen okay and uh, suppose if you wanna you know get rid of this this window as well this little you know this cross if you want to go into full screen mode then you just need to press control right control plus F on your keyboard yes as you can see you can read the instructions note that host key is currently defined as right control okay just click on switch as you can see we are on you know full screen mode Okay guys and in order to return to your in order to return you have to press again control plus F okay guys and you just need to use it okay so let me just open a Firefox let's see if internet is working or not Let me go to Google. It's now working, you guys. So in this way, you can easily uh, let me close this. In this way, you can easily uh, install. Ubuntu 14.04 click on 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 virtual box okay guys so hope this tutorial helps and thanks for watching this video and I will catch you in my another videos bye bye take care